Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another interesting review and another alt beer from Dusseldorf. Of course, this one is Schloss of Alt. Uh, and I'm continuing my series about alt beers, which is uh, of course always coming from Dusseldorf in Nordrhein Westfalen. Regionally protected result, just like Kölsch from uh, Cologne. But um, I'm in my series about alt beers at the moment. That is very, very fantastic for me. I look forward to it a lot. Uh, and especially this one, the Schlösser Alt. Old Brewery, founded 1873, and comes in this uh, long neck bottle, as you can see, long neck bottle, since it's gonna be easy to drink just from the bottle, but you should not do that, in my opinion. You should pour it up to unleash the right aromas from the ingredients of the beer, and that's what I'm going to do with this Schlösser Alt. Uh, looking at this with the uh, Lion, the Löwe, as it's called in Germany, Schlösser Alt, with the modern looking, little modernized, it had a much or old-fashioned label before, which I of course prefer, but it is what it is with the breweries that try to be modern with their labels. I don't understand that. Anyway, thanks to my friend Ronnie, as I mentioned, who is sending all alt beers to me, so I can review them here on the channel. I appreciate that very much. Um, and uh, I always look forward to the alt beers. One of my favorite beers also the more very unique German dark ale beer so uh, let's Give this one a try, the Schloss of Alt. Pour it up. Open it up with the crown cap and pour it up, of course, into the, um, as I said, for the bear cell well fitting glass. Always important to use the right type of glass for the bear cell that you are, that you are um, enjoying. In this case, I think this glass fits nice with the bear cell. Uh, creating much foam, as always, on a dark uh, alt wheel. I use this glass instead of the typical Alpeer glass, since the Alpeer glass is much, much smaller compared to the size of the 1.0, um, no, 0 0.5 liter bottle. Um, and I always like to pour up everything in my reviews. So, looking at it, it looks like a typical Alpeer with a thick white foam crown and dark color of it. Two finger white foam crown, as you can see. Really, really looking beautiful. Let's get the aroma. Which is fantastic, this is absolutely a great alpeel, this Schlösser Alt. Let's pour up the rest, like that. There we have it all. The Schlösser Alt. Put the bottle right here meanwhile. And looking at it, this is how an alpeel should look like. So it's gonna be really a pleasure to enjoy it. And finally, let's give it a try. The Schlösser Alt. Post. Yeah. Undoubtedly very, very fresh and nice. This is absolutely how an Alpeer should taste. <sighs> Fantastic. What an experience. Just a big recommendation, this Schloss of Alt. I really hope that you can visit and want to visit the website also from this brewery, which I'll of course link in the description box below as always. Schloss of Alt, site 1873. Alpeer, Totaten, Wasser, Hopfen, Hopfen Extract. Um, and uh, Schlösser DE, Brauerei Schlösser, uh, Rattinger Straße 25, 402, 13, Düsseldorf, Gebot, Nach dem Deutschen Reinheitsgebot. Alcohol content 4.8 percent volume, very normal for the style. Put the bottle right here, meanwhile. Um, and uh, yeah, I can uh, give you some information about this brew taken from the website. Costs, Castles old, young, at heard since 1873. Well road roared, well brewed Schlösser Alt has been out and about in the wild for almost 150 years, always on the hunt for new adventures and encounters in the urban jungle. Its territory marks um, the old castle in the heart of the Alpeer stronghold in Düsseldorf. From here, the fresh and spicy specialty goes on the prowl in gastronomy and in retail. Anyone who wants to venture into the lion's den is welcome on the legendary Ratinger Straße. Strong as a lion at first sight, delicious as a lion. From the first sip, castles old, fresh and spicy, just right for a short break in the undergrowth of the urban jungle. For Schloss Alt, uh, the, his master brewers only use the best foam from nature, freshly roasted barley malt, finely dry hops and the top fermenting yeast cultures. You can see it and you can taste it. Strong several notes, light hop bitterness and fruity aromas characterize the chestnut brown specialty. 
whether after work, in your free time, or just switch off the Schloss Alt is perfect at a drinking temperature of a cool 7 degrees Celsius. That's of course really, really interesting and I really hope that you're gonna visit the website also. I can give you some information also f about this um, um, about this uh, beer style, which is um, this style of beer is mainly brewed around Dusseldorf in Germany and it means old and refers to uh, the style of being an older kind than the pale lager that eventually spread from Bavaria and Bohemia to the rest of the country. Altbeer is unusual outside northwestern Germany, but it happens that beer is brewed on a much smaller scale in other countries. Unlike most ale, which ferments in hot temperature for a short time, Altbeer ferments in a cold temperature for a longer time. The unique fermentation process together with German hops gives the beer uh, something in between an ale and lager in taste. Today, beers are often brownish and red in color with a malty and roasted taste. The bitterness is moderate to clear. The difference between an Altbier and the other German traditional ale style Kirsch is big. Kirsch is more reminiscent of a pale lager in taste and is paler in color. Sounds very interesting, of course. Here is one last look of the label, the great looking label of Schluss of Alt. And it's really a big, big recommendation. But I think that's it for now regarding Schluss of Alt. Hope you like my videos and see you again in next Altbier beer review.